So the draw for the African Cup of Nations 2023 qualifiers has been made. We'll look at the draw results that have come in Ghana's group. We'll look at the groups of other countries and uh, which group is the group of death in my opinion. And a whole lot to discuss today. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. So Ivory Coast will be hosting uh, the African Cup of Nations 2023. Six stadiums will be used for the competition in five host cities. Now, a CAF president, Patrice Motepe, has been to Ivory Coast and was impressed. He said that they are 25% ready for the competition. It's in a little over a year from now and uh, hopefully by the time uh, they get to next year the competition is returning in june july not january uh, they will be 100 percent ready and uh, ivory coast are hosting the tournament for the first time in over 40 years uh, so it's coming back for them and uh, they will be excited to host the whole of africa i talked about the draw constraints before uh, this draw was held and it was followed accordingly and now there were two countries which have disciplinary issues they were mauritius and sao tome and principe those disciplinary issues are being listened to and mauritius and sao tome and principe will know which country will win that very issue and go on to the competition itself which is the qualifiers so by the time we start the qualifiers they will know the result of that and proceed accordingly uh, with it aside that kenya and zimbabwe also have issues with CAF and fifa in terms of political interference that has led to them not being involved in competitions of this nature should they not resolve issues that need resolving before they get back into it but the draw was held in south africa johannesburg and this was the draw result interesting lineup there for africa the continent of africa looking for the next winner of the total energies african cup of nations 2023 last year's winners or just this year's winners uh, for 2021 was senegal will they be able to retain it well they'll have to qualify first and foremost and now another constraint was that the hosts the group in which the hosts find themselves would be one team that can qualify in addition to the host the host no matter where they finish in the group will be in the competition and uh, that is one other constraint so now group a uh, we look at it there nigeria sierra leone guinea bissau and the sao tome and principe and mauritius display issue will determine who takes part in the competition we'll also look at the dates for the games as well interesting lineup i'm expecting nigeria to make it in here but the second team to join them could be anyone and three all three teams uh, would feel optimistic about that for group b burkina faso uh, cape Verde, togo and eswatini eswatini have never made an afcon appearance before uh, they could be looking to upset the apple cart so burkina faso favorites obviously in that group cape Verde, togo uh, and eswatini still have for grabs in there a uh, group c has a cameroon a host of the last afcon kenya who have disciplinary issues namibia and burundi who qualified for the african cup of nations for the first time in 2019 uh, so group c cameroon will feel optimistic kenya and uh, hopefully they get things back on track and don't have to leave this group now if they do not get things back on track and have to remove them the group it means that, that only three nations will be left in this group yes only three nations will be left in the group and two of them will go to the afghan so kenya would want to be in there our group d has egypt guinea malawi and ethiopia for me i think this is the group of death anyone is capable of going to the afghan in this group uh, we've seen them in action before i think this group has the is the group of their Mohamed Salah and Co feel pretty confident but not so confident because Guinea, Malawi and Ethiopia will also be optimistic of their chances of making it into the African Cup of Nations. Two teams from each group will qualify. Group E has Ghana, Madagascar, Angola and Central African Republic. The Black Stars of Ghana looking to end a 40 plus year jinx of not winning the AFCON. First of all, they have to qualify it should not be 
any headache here for Ghana, but it's football, anything is possible. Black Stars will feel confident of going through Madagascar, Angola, Central African Republic would also want to make it to the African Cup of Nations. So we'll see what happens there. Madagascar shone in the 2019 African Cup of Nations, making it all the way to the quarterfinals in their very first competition. Can they make it to their second competition? We'll see about that. Group F is Algeria, Uganda, Niger, Tanzania. Uh, group G, uh, Mali, Congo, the Gambia, and South Sudan. Uh, group H has the host uh, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, Zambia, Comoros, and Lesotho. As I said in this group, Cote d'Ivoire have already qualified for the competition. Zambia, Comoros, and Lesotho are all fighting for one spot. No matter where Cote d'Ivoire finish, they will be at AFCON 2023 by virtue of being the host. In Group I, DR Congo, Gabon, Mauritania, and then Sudan. So DR Congo, Gabon, uh, most people's favorites in this group will be here. Uh, Mauritania and Sudan will have a say, of course, in this one as well. In Group J, it is Tunisia, Equatorial Guinea, Libya, and Botswana. Quite an interesting group there. Tunisia, the top ranked team from Africa in there. And Tunisia will hope that they can beat and make it to the African Cup of Nations. Equatorial like Guinea as well. Libya, Botswana uh, might ex- ups- look to upset the Apple cards. Not a done deal for Tunisia, though being the favorite here in this group. In Group K, it's Morocco, South Africa, Zimbabwe and then liberia south africa missed out on afcon 2021 being the same group with ghana and also sudan uh, missing out on afcon zimbabwe where in afcon 2021 uh, they will also look to get back into the african cup of nations and do well they have not been doing well in the african cup of nations in recent times but they are also one of the countries that have issues with fifa and CAF. Uh, they are looking to resolve it if it is not resolved two weeks to the first match day they will be removed and it will be left with morocco south africa and liberia south africa uh, want to desperately get back into it missing out on afcon missing out on the world cup having the draw down in their country so many things south africa need to get back and i hope to see them there morocco will be favorites obviously in this group hopefully south africa joins them zimbabwe Liberia will also have a shout in there. Finally, Group L, Senegal, the reigning champions, Benin, Mozambique, and Rwanda. Uh, That is the African Cup of Nations draw. We know all 48 countries, the constraints have been made, and we know how the draw was done. We saw the draw live, and it has been set. Uh, The first match day will be on on. 30th May to 14th June will be match day one and two in the off season. Most club football would have ended by then. So 30th June to 14th June, match day one and two. There'll be six match days during the international breaks where we'll find out who will be at AFCON 2023. Six stadiums will be used for the competition. We'll see which countries will make it to Ivory Coast for the African cup of nations so that was a draw my thoughts on the draw my predictions my group of death let me know your thoughts in the comments box on it ghana's group includes madagascar angola and central african republic i'll see you guys in the next one have a great evening enjoy the rest of the night